Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here, and today we're going to go over how to downgrade Mojave's version of Safari 14.0 down to 13.1.2. Um, in this video, we're going to go over why you would want to do that. We're going to go over a supported way in an unsupported way, and we're going to kind of talk about the problem here. Uh, let's just get started right away. If you if you're here, you're probably you're probably still need Safari 13 for something. And you're probably thinking, well, what would that be? Well, Safari 14 did a lot of changes. First of all, they, they removed Flash. Flash is done. Flash is actually end of life, but there's still people that need Flash for, Flash for certain things. The other thing is, is that they removed top sites. Uh, there's a lot of fans of the old top sites uh, option to be able to have your homepage load the, the sites that you visit the most. And people are pretty upset that that's gone. They want that back. So much so that they're asking how the heck I can downgrade to go back to the old version to get it back. Uh, other users have asked me, they said that they have a website compatibility issues and they need to be able to test uh, their site to get it working on 14. So this is what this video is going to be about. We're going to talk about how to downgrade from 13 or from 14 to 13.1.2. The other problem is, is a bunch of users, when they were trying to fix the, the security update problems, they, they actually upgraded to Safari 14.01 beta. Now, the problem is, is that the supplemental update did not include Safari version 14.01 in its P list for version compatibility. So you're stuck there and you're still broken. So this article will also help you downgrade from, from Safari beta so you can install the supplemental update and then you're then you're all fixed again. So what do I mean by supported and unsupported? Um, there's two ways to do it. There's It's very simple. If you want to downgrade Safari, you have to do it one of two ways. Safari is a system application. It's kind of embedded into the operating system so you can't just take it in and throw it in the trash it is also protected by system integrity protection protection so you can't go in there and just delete it and that's that's put that way so you don't screw up your own system those are protecting those internal files for, from malware or just from user error so um, the, the first supported way is to basically reinstall, not a race install, a reinstall over the previous uh, updated operating system. That will bring you down to the latest full installer version, which is 18G103. And it also includes inside the installer Safari 12.1.2. Uh, the unsupported way is basically I'm going to show you how to, how to uninstall Safari uh, by disabling SIP. We're going to remove Safari, we're going to install Safari, we're going to enable SIP again, and you'll be at 13.1.2. So I kind, of, I kind of put in here a little warning saying, hey, listen, the unsupported way is not supported by Apple. They, they, there's no instructions for doing this. So you're kind of on your own. And I recommend you right now that if you're going to try this way, make sure you back up, run a time machine, do a TMUtil, a local snapshot to make sure that you can go back in case something goes wrong. I want to make sure that you know I've tested this multiple times. Using using the ways that I show you in this in this video, so it works very well, and I've been using it for for two days now, no problems. But let's be honest, a lot of users use extensions, all these different things um, that they've installed, and maybe something doesn't work. So the only way to do it is to try it. But if you have a backup, you can always go right back. Let's jump into the instructions. Here are only for Mojave. Um, you could probably get this done with Catalina. Catalina is different, and so is High Sierra. But I haven't, I didn't get anybody reaching out to me for Catalina or High Sierra. I did include a link to both High Sierra and Catalina right at the bottom of this article. So if you wanted to try the same instructions, it might work. Let me know. Um, let's talk about the supported way. This is very cut and dry. We went over this in the last video on how to just do a reinstall over the top of macOS Mojave. Basically, all you're doing is you're backing up your files. You're rebooting to the recovery partition on your Mac with just hit restart, hold down command R. It'll boot to the recovery partition. Then you're going to click install Mac OS Mojave. It will reinstall over the top of your current OS. And then uh, your build version, like I said, was on 18G103 and Safari 12.1.2. Then you're set. You'll install Safari 13.1. You can actually stay on 12 if you want, but let's be honest. You want to be in the most secure version as possible. Each release installs security updates that protect you. So at the 
13.1.2 was the latest version before 14.0 came out. So I, again, I have uh, included a link below that you can download the direct download to 13.1.2 straight from Apple servers. You can't get it on their download site. You got to uh, download it direct there. And then you can install the security update 2020-004. Why didn't I put in, put in there uh, 005? Because I'm not sure. Apple has tested this particular install path to make sure it works. I know that for a fact because they, they put this path back in the day that they pulled the 005 update. When you would go back out there on a fresh machine, you would see Safari 13.12 and 2020-004 security update for, for you to install. So we know that's a trusted path, and that's why I recommend it. You can try running it with, with 005. Let me know uh, in the comments how if that worked for you, because if it does, I'll put it in here. Um, and that's it. You're on... 13.1.2, it's pretty It's pretty cut and dry. It takes about 45 minutes to do, and this is the way I recommend you do it. Let's jump right into the unsupported way. Why would you want to do this? Well, you want to know what? It's, it's kind of neat to, to see how you can take an application on Mac OS and remove it, a protected app, reinstall a previous version, and have it work properly. Um, let's, let's jump right in to see how we can do that. Again, make a backup. Uh, reboot. The next step is to reboot. We need to disable system integrity protection because it protects Safari from being deleted. How do we do that? I've got a screenshot here to show you what that would look like when we get into recovery. This is a, this, this screenshot here is what the terminal would look like in recovery. The, the command is CSR util disable. You'll get a message that says successfully disabled system integrity protection. Please restart the machine to take the effect. That's it. Reboot the Mac from recovery back into Mac OS, and then the, the system protect, uh, integrity protection's off and you're prepared to be able to modify system files. Now I ask you to download Safari 13.12 and I've got the link right to uh, Apple Software Upstate server link. You can cut and paste this and put it in your browser. Just download the package right to your downloads folder. I've got uh, install App Cleaner version 3.5. Uh, you're going to need that to remove Safari because the beauty the beauty of this application is is it's able to detect all the files that you need to to, to remove from Safari because it's not just in the app. It, there's files all over the system that have to do with Safari 14. It will find them and delete them. You're going to download Pacifist. We're going to use that to reinstall 13.1.2, and then uh, let's see here. We're going to basically reboot to uh, reboot to recovery to re-enable because we want to protect those files once we have all the files installed to re-enable SIP, and then we reboot and you're back on 13.1.2. Now it's demo time. Let's do it. I've got a I've got a, a Mojave system right here. I'm going to run uh, CSR util status to check to make sure that. Uh, System integrity protection is disabled, and I'm going to run an SW version so you guys can see what version this machine uh, is on. So here we go. We're running 10.14.6, 10 running 18G6032, which is the latest version. With It's 2020-005, so that's the test that we're doing. We're taking the example of that you've already installed these updates. You were caught surprised by it, and you want to be able to go back. Because you didn't want to install Safari. You saw that supplemental update. You thought it was a fix, but it was it was disguised as Safari 14. So now that we got that, we've disabled. We, I can also show you here's the, about Safari. It says about Safari version 14.0. It's running the 0.10 version. So let's let's first uh, use the app cleaner here. I've got the app cleaner up here. And look at that. It opens up this little thing here. And all you need to do is drag your app, drag the app into here, and it'll show you all the files we need to do to get it removed. Now, before you do this, though, for system applications only, you got to go up to the app cleaner, go about the preferences, and then you have to unselect protect system apps because you'll get an error that says, "Hey, this app is protected." If you don't do that, so we did that already. Now, all we need to do is drag Safari into there. So, open up, go in applications, find Safari. Drag it in. Now, keep in mind, there's also another protection in here that will tell you that it needs to run. It also protects running apps. Safari is running right now, so I wanted to show you that because you, you might be wondering, wait a minute, I disabled this already. Why is it still coming up? Well, I'll tell you. We'll turn that back off, and we will still... I'll, I'm still going to close Safari anyway. And Safari is now quit, and we'll drag it back in, and you'll see all the files.
Now, real quick note, notice how this is checkmarked. If you, for some reason, forgot to disable uh, system integrity protection, this will be grayed out. You will not be able to remove this app. Now that it is highlighted and checkmarked, you're good to go. And look at all these files that it's going to remove. Again, I always make, mention that you're backing up before you do this because your, uh, your history, all your bookmarks are going to be gone when we do this. So when you go up here, go select all. We're going to click view to select all here. Now all of the files are selected. All we need to do is click remove. You'll hear it go to the trash. You're going to get an admin prompt. We'll type in our password. Now they're in the trash. Done. Safari is gone from this system. Now let's install 13.1.2. The way we're going to do it, we're going to use Pacifist to do that. All we need to do is drag this, and here we go. Here we got their 13.12 package that I downloaded. We're just going to drag it over here to Pacifist, and it's going to open up. It's loading the files. It's going to tell us all the contents of this package. Now, to get this going, we have, it, there's the install button up here, but you can't click on it. You've got to select it here. Once it's selected, click install. It says you, you, you want to use administrative privileges. Of course we do. Click install. We're going to be prompted for the username and password. We click, click our password. We get it one more time and then we'll get, oops, type the password in there wrong. We're going to get a, uh, a message that's going to say, well, wait, do you want to, there's files already here. Do you want to overwrite them? And we're going to click yes for select all. You can see it's setting the permit. Here's that message that I was talking about. We're going to select, don't ask about this again because we've got to replace multiple files. Replace, moving files into place. Almost done here. Done. Let's fire up Safari. Let's see if it worked. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. We are on Safari 13.1.2. Let's make sure that it works though. Let's go to YouTube. All right. We are rocking and rolling. So let's quit Safari. And the only thing left we have to do is reboot the system back into recovery, make sure we enable system integrity protection, and that's it. You're done. We did it. Let's close this off. And I've got all the download links for you right here. Um, I've got the direct download to 13.1.2. I got Safari 14.0. I've got uh, for, for Mojave, and I've got Catalina here if you wanted to try that out. And I also have the links to the security updates. That's it. Guys, I appreciate the watches, and if you want to stay up to date with the latest macOS information and news, hit subscribe because I'm going to keep you updated, I'm going to keep you informed, and we're going to get a lot of new videos coming out here pretty soon here, and I hope you stay tuned. Thanks a lot, and have a good day.